right, guys. So we have got a couple of weeks left for our wish list show. And with all the calls that we've been getting to help, we know it's going to be a packed show. And clearly, a very emotional one, Nev, always. With lots of smiles, maybe some tears, definitely some tears. And a few features in between. So let's get into a few more. All right. Uh, Michelle is writing to us from Senan. She tells us that her home is in a terrible state. Her home floods every single time it rains. In addition to this, her dad is bedridden. And the bed gets soaked every time it rains as well. Michelle would really love uh, your help with her home. And she adds that she holds a certificate in housekeeping. So she would like a job at a hotel as this would help with the costs of renovation. Okay, Michelle, we hear you. Daniel is only 25 years old and the breadwinner for her family, Daniel's mom, has worked tirelessly at minimum wage to provide for her and her brother after their dad died of prostate cancer. Daniel's mom now suffers from rheumatoid arthritis, causing swollen joints, and that makes her fragile and bedridden. Daniel is therefore asking for a wheelchair and an adjustable bed and a job for herself so that she can help out. Ramesh's mom took out a loan for him to sit his uh, CSEC exams uh, next year, so she's mm. all wiped out financially. Mm. All he would like for Christmas are some groceries so he and his mom can have Christmas dinner. Wow. Jardine is a sixth form student whose intention is to maximize his full academic potential to complete his, complete his CAPE exams. His Christmas desire is for someone to assist him in obtaining the books that he will need. And the following are the books. Guys, do you have these books? Just listen. The Parable of the Sower, Anthony and Cleopatra, Cape Communication Studies by Harold McDermott, Caribbean Slavery in the Atlantic World, Cape Management of Business Unit 1, any of those books or all of those books, if each of you have one, then he has the list right there. Mm -hmm. Even if he can't have all the books, a donation of one or more will be extremely helpful in his course of study. All right, Angela, folks, uh, she's been laid off from her previous employment since 2015 and has since then been unable to find another job. She has difficulty finding food and other basic necessities. The little money that she receives is merely enough to cover rent. She humbly wishes this Christmas for help in the form of groceries. Angela would be thankful for any assistance that can be provided in making her Christmas a happy one. Okay, so we're going to tell you about Marsha Gay. She shares a one-bedroom house with her mother. Um, the house does not have a bathroom. She bathes outside in the open and she uses a scandal bag for other needs. Um, wow. So Marsha Gay struggles financially as she's unemployed, likewise her mother. And the little help that she receives is just enough to buy food and cover the electricity bill. Her only wish this Christmas is that she receives help in building a bathroom. And this would bring her great joy um, for the season. Ah. All right, folks, that's it for our wish list this morning. If you're out there and you're able to help, feel free to call our studios. Uh, call 926-1100-9 and ask for the production department oh, boy. and they will help you. Wow. Uh, just before we go, uh, I suspect this was yesterday, 5, 10 p.m. on Camperdown Road. My bag was grabbed by two men on a bike, a brown bag consisting of... Uh, my TRN, National ID, bank cards and some. The ID and cards are in the name of Kareen White. So if anyone finds it, uh, uh, maybe on the road, because uh, um, probably just threw it away, please take it to the nearest police station. So if you find any ID cards or anything belonging to Kareen White, just take it to the Be careful out there, guys. Be yeah. careful out there. Be yep. vigilant. Yep. All right, take a break. News is next.